At UFC Fight Night, veteran Frankie Edgar battled top 10 bantamweight Pedro Munoz and won by split decision. It was a battle of Edgar's lateral movement, straight punches, and wrestling takedowns versus Munoz's forward pressure, powerful hooks, and leg kicks. In round one, we saw the rhythm being set. Munoz would plod forward, attempting to cut Edgar off. He would land several leg kicks, reminiscent of the perineal nerve-damaging kicks we saw last weekend with O'Malley. There was no foot drop this time, though. Edgar would keep a wide stance to maintain his lateral movement while sprinkling in straight one-twos. Although the wide stance allowed for mobility, it also compromised Edgar's defense at times, opening himself up to more targets for his opponent. In particular, Munoz's right hand always seemed to land at the end of his combinations. Edgar has an excellent shin, but getting hit that much takes its toll, especially at 38 years of age. Edgar would have a lot more success if he rolled under Munoz's left hand, his weaker side. The leg kicks also began to take a toll on Edgar's mobility. Edgar checked a few of them, but ate a lot, and he eventually began to move his leg back to evade them. Nevertheless, Edgar fought back like a true champion. Edgar's been known as a high-volume fighter, but he definitely had sting behind a lot of his punches. He would start the fight with his traditional one-twos, but he eventually mixed in lead right straights, lead uppercuts, and hooks at the end of his flurries. Edgar's vintage wrestling integration into his combos added extra dimension to his fighting. Even Munoz would deviate from his wide hooks and occasionally use his straight rear hand buckling Edgar at times. Edgar would get tagged a lot by this right hand, but he eventually found ways to duck under it if he timed Munoz correctly or if he circled out enough. The fight was at a crazy pace, highlighting the speed and endurance of these bantamweights. The decision was a tough one, worthy of a split decision. The takedowns may have added the extra weight for Edgar, but honestly, it could have gone either way. This fight showed that Edgar, despite 38 years of age, is still a top fighter, and he has potential at 135 in his debut, which is amazing given his story career. Please click subscribe for more awesome anatomy and MMA videos.